this is my breakfast prep that I made. Somehow I forgot to hit record while I was making it, so there's actually no footage of me making it. But I will tell you what's in it. There is nine eggs that I scrambled, as well as a container of Baby Bella mushrooms that I chopped up and sauteed, one half of a red onion that I also sauteed, and a package of the market side fresh spinach that I put in and sauteed and let it wilt in with the mushrooms and the onions. And then I just added the eggs and I did four servings, which was four ounces of mozzarella cheese. And then I put it in my baking dish with my olive oil. You can see my hands just moving around and I'm talking. I'm not really sure what I'm saying, but I'm showing you guys that I made a breakfast prep. So that's what's in it, and you're going to see me now cut it up and put it in the containers. So for the mornings, I don't have my frittata for breakfast. I'm going to have yogurt with this granola, or I will have it for a snack in the afternoon. It's the Bare Naked Honey Almond Granola, and for a quarter of a cup, it is 140 calories and 15 grams of carbs, but the net carbs is 12 because there's three grams of fiber. So 12 net carbs and 140 calories for a quarter of a cup. I'm just gonna portion it out in these bags. So I'll have it all ready. I can just grab a bag and grab my yogurt. I still have some of the yogurt cups left. I haven't opened my um, container of yogurt yet. So, I'll use those up this week. Alright, I'm just going to start my evening meal preps now, and this isn't going to be anything fancy. I wanted to do some kind of a fancy chicken dish, but I got lazy and decided to just do baked chicken. I'm going to put chipotle southwest seasoning as well as garlic herb seasoning on each of the breasts, as well as my famous olive oil. <laughs> In here, I am just weighing the chicken breast to make sure how much it is so I know how much to calculate when I do my calories 
each chicken breast was about two and a quarter servings. So I will know to put two and a quarter servings in when I have my meals. Um, I'm only doing three of the chicken breast meal preps this week, three meal preps, because the other two will be turkey burgers and sweet potato fries. And I don't think turkey burgers and sweet potato fries would taste too good meal prep, so I will just fix those those two meals on the days that I eat them. But, yeah, so here we go. So I'm just doing this little piece to show you guys that I did disinfect my prep area after I was done with making the chicken. I know a couple people was like, ooh, you didn't wash your hands, but I didn't include it last week, but I really did do this last week. I don't just not wash my hands after I touch the chicken. So here you go. <laughs> So to go with my chicken, I'm going to have roasted summer squash as well as roasted broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. I couldn't think of what I wanted to put with it, so I figured that was as good of a choice as any. I needed to use up the squash that I got at the grocery store before it went bad, so I didn't have enough of it for three meals, so I just figured I would add it to a bag of cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. I think it's called the California blend that I had. So I'm just going to put this on a baking sheet and top it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil as well as some garlic and herb seasoning and put it in the oven. I think I roasted it for about 45 minutes at 400 and it got nice and crispy. <laughs>
The last part of my meal prep for the week is my salads. I'll be making three salads. I'm not quite sure if I'll have these with my dinner meals or if I'll have these for lunch. It just depends on how the week goes and how hungry I am. But I'll be cutting up lettuce as well as tomato and peppers and deli turkey for the top and that will be my salad for the week as well as the skinny girl raspberry vinaigrette salad dressing.
thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.